Well, I suppose it's time to try and get out of dodge here. Okay, let's do this. Yes, let's. I'm guessing there's going to be lots of security, damn it. <sighs> At least there wasn't a lot of uh, dialogue there. <sighs> and I don't have to skip anything. Okay, what we got here? It's going to be no entry things. Uh, stage clear. Why would I even bother with a stage clear? Oh, they got a bow made from the Tree of Life. That's cool. I wish I would come over here and blast all of them. But it is what it is. You know, we'll just take them all out. Though I think I still have to clear the stage the old-fashioned, the way they mention regardless. Uh, that's gonna blow. Well, almost got that freaking beast tamer. Well, that's an interesting trick. Well, time for a zombie cannon. And let's, uh, just... You know, finish you off with a tie down, I guess. Like, you forgot to tie your shoes. Okay, why offer the option to run away if you can just easily kill them? Or do they not expect you to have, you know, strong enough gear at this point to, you know, just absolutely slaughter the enemies? Oh, yeah, this one's got the moving panels, doesn't it? I don't even know why the green one's there. It's not like it's got a, you know, a special feature where it's like you hit it's stage over. Okay. Yeah, continue our journey, though, slowly but surely. Of course, that's going to make this green stuff no entry now, ain't it? Gosh darn it. If only my other spells could reach so far. Ugh, it's gonna be a slow walk. But not much I can do about besides gripe. Like seriously, game, why? Uh joy. Um, let's see, I should be able to rotate this around. Damn, those guys had little health. That was too easy. I realize mages aren't exactly durable, but I mean, come on. That wasn't even a good spell. <sighs> Whatever. Though why they keep thinking sitting there is going to help them, I don't know. Evade's nice, but it's not that great. I mean, at the end of the day, it's just like, oh, you, you have a 50% increased chance of dodging! And I can't even move now. I just couldn't move fast enough to get over the line. I need some seriously improved shoes at some point. And yeah, I realize that Mon's effectively useless here. Zombie Mon. Yep, why not? Well, that takes care of this stage, at least. Now to move on to the confession room. Where we can confess all our dark secrets. Oh, and I need level up? <laughs> whatever. That's not even threatening, at this point. Feel free to level up, no one cares. Okay, we'll bring Pamela out. Oh, they silence us? Well, fine. The zombie can do it alone, then. Or maybe I should bring out Treebeard. I mean, Treebeard can help out. After all, I can at least counterattack. And at least the enemies are pursuing us in particular, so I actually can take advantage of it. Come on, who wants to fight with the tree? Though, admittedly, getting rid of the silence would have helped here a little bit. But, you know, I can, I can take a bunch of blows and not give a damn. It's fine. 
Okay. Well, hopefully if someone stays behind and tries to fight the tree. <laughs> oh, you guys are setting yourselves up for failure. I already know he's going to turn on and start countering you guys hard. Damn, all three of them. Those are some solid counter efforts there. Okay, who wants some? I mean, Zombie King can't counter. But Treebeard's weaker, so the AI should be drawn to it. I mean, unlike uh, some of the other Disguy games where I can point to, like uh, Disguy 4, people will still pursue uh, my strongest guy if he's on the field for whatever reason. It's like, oh, he's the main character, we gotta get him! Like, but why? Like, like, why aren't you going after the, my weak healer or something that's providing support spells? Like, you can go fly right past him and character to go target her. Why are you focusing on him so much? Like, your obsession makes no sense! Ugh. You're gonna waste your time, at least do it intelligently, you know? Okay, uh, that's not gonna help out. Neither's that. Fine, tie down. It sucks I have to use that spell so much. But sometimes it's my best option. But it even makes less sense we can skip that one stage, considering, you know, you get to these stages and like, oh, yeah, th th there's a uh, no exit areas. You gotta fight your way through against these dragons. Man, I haven't even made a dragon yet. At least not of that variety. I've made a lot of the other ones, though. I mean, we got a holy dragon and a skeletal dragon. It's all good fun. Don't use fire on it, that'd be terrible. Even if it is vulnerable to it, it's still would be terrible because it's technically a monster that's immune to fire. I can't burn it. No matter how hard I try. The game's just taunting me, like that is the perfect dragon. In effect, because you're like, oh. The one thing I can throw, it's, you know, not even vulnerable to. Because, you know, it's got immunity, damn it. Like, you know, an ambassador or something, you know? Ugh. Some boxing gloves, huh? Well, let's just keep moving. Ugh. Let's see. Heal and attack ups? Okay. Doesn't seem that great. I mean, if I was lower level or had less powerful equipment, yeah, this would be a fine setup to try and stop me. As it stands, this is probably going to be mostly annoying. Oh, that's an interesting line. Okay. Still can't reach. I can maybe tie someone down here. Okay, that takes care of you. Come on. Some Raiden missiles, eh? Oh man, the critical hit you managed to do 75 points! I mean, come on, that's amazing! Not really. Okay, let's uh, move over here. Um, let's see. Zombies, why not? Ah, darn, couldn't even break 5,000? I'm disappointed, game. Well, let's just uh, slap you, I guess. And we should definitely move you one more square forward. Darn, not enough reach. Um, let's see. Move you there. See if anyone begins attacking us, I guess. Besides these guys. I mean, I was expecting the spear users to try and take a stab at me. Man, that's a lot of effort for what's going to be ultimately a very small reward. Um, 
Okay, let's see. Um. Sweet. Just do it again if I have to. And that takes care of you a lot. And then end turns the ghost can recover all that mana I just spent. Because I dumped a lot into that one. Yeah, skip it. You gonna say something? Seriously, what happened to that pretty's head? Why is it so deformed? I honestly don't think she won any beauty pageants. She just decided to name herself Beauty Queen by hacking the system. Ugh. Ugh. You guys were just lying about it. Don't act so surprised. Oh, that's just a dick move right there. I wish it hadn't, because damn, does he look ugly, and that's uh, sensationalism. Like, seriously, stars for nipples, dude? Ugh, so tacky. It hurts. It's so tacky, it hurts. So you get stuck being a warden for prinnies. Seriously, how did you get stuck there, man? What did you do? Since his return, Axel has received a flood of offers to appear on TV and in concerts, movies, and video games. <laughs> oh, man. Probably having good video games. The once gutter trash dark hero has risen like a freakish garbage phoenix to capture our hearts again. A true netherworld dream. Which you'll never get to see, because everyone loves your co-host, even though she doesn't talk. After a quick commercial break, we hope to have live coverage from Axel's premiere performance of his new song. Uh, is it going to be hot and stinky? You know, because that's a Land Before Time song. Edna! I was wondering what she's been up to since she escaped from the castle. Ah, oh, man. Oh, just shut up, Laharl. Now I have to go teach her just who the strongest, most evil overlord really is. And that's me, Laharl! <laughs> oh, spare me. You're not even strong enough to beat Major Lee. Or Pre-Air. Come back when you can compete with those two. Oh, why wouldn't it? Adele and the rest escaped from the Coliseum and returned home. And Edna began worrying about assassination attempts. There was no rejoicing. Well, why would there be? Adele, unaware of Zenon's defeat, was filled with anger towards himself. His heart was torn by the thought of his family. Rosalind was also deeply saddened. Who is monstrous? Father was deeply tested. Was she truly loved? Her confusion gave way to doubt. Doesn't it always? And as the sun rose, a familiar voice brought astonishing news. But it's not news worth talking about. Ah, oh, man. Well, who else would it be? I thought you should know. I took care of Zenon for you. Well, for me, really, but hey! Eh. Two A's, you know. Whatever. What? Impossible! Father was... 
The god of all overlords? Yeah, he's not really your father, nor is he a god of all overlords. Ugh. I don't even know why you have to defeat an Overlord to get that title. I mean, it seems rather arbitrary. Especially when you're as strong as an Overlord already. Well, he can resurrect himself. I know, it's a real hack, ain't it? How would she know? Well, he took one look at me and knew I was the princess, so it had to be him. That don't mean Jack Squat. Oh, right. Never saw your father. Oh, I thought you'd be more helpful. This sucks. Well, then go away. Ugh. <sighs> Yeah, it probably was, and is. Can we please just move on? This dialogue's painful. After playing this game so much, I don't care to listen to it. Ugh. The city? My question is why did the gatekeeper tell you that? Are you blackmailing her? Do we have to have a talk, Taro? Good job, Taro. Or did you bribe her? Ugh. Though Alke City does offer one of the more interesting growing opportunities if you have status moves. Unfortunately, we don't have characters that can really do that reliably, unlike you know, if we had a thief or something. Because they can say you have to do, like, critical hits. Like, basically guaranteed on a sleeping enemy. But, you know, at least we can now access, you know, grinding opportunities all over again at the Red Waterfall and try and power up more. Um, at least on some of these characters, you know, the newly created ones. Get some more millions to buy them better gear. Continue to upgrade the shop to max level and maybe work on upgrading some weapons to try and make up for the fact we don't have, you know, weapon mastery outside of, you know, raising our level. Ugh, I still hate that. And damn, I've been gathering a lot of crap I need to sell off here. Oh, well, that's a useless cell phone. That's also useless. Oh my gosh. Please tell me I have some good cell phones. Okay, we got two Defender of Earth phones. Okay, we're good. I would prefer to have, like, four more, but I just gotta live with what we got. Till next time, then. See ya.